it's early guys early 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 before the sun comes up it should be a good morning before i even launch the kayak i just saw a fish pop over here there's a light i am gonna pitch a shrimp over there see what we got i bet you we can catch a fish right here there he is there he is just show him look at that don't even have to launch the kayak and i got one nice oh we got off Just a little snook nice here we go i'm gonna see if i can pull another snook out of here yep another perfect cast right on the edge of the dock there he is there he is Nice. Dude, I got two snook and it hadn't even broken daylight yet. This was not my plan. Ah, my spot lock came undone. Well, would you look at that? Little snooky. Nice. Here, snooky, snooky, snooky. Here, Snooky, Snooky, Snooky. There he is. There he is. Oh, that snapper there. Might be a keeper, dude. That's a nice snapper. Yeah. All right. About nine and a half. See ya. I think I just pulled it right. At, there he is. I pulled it out of one's mouth. There we go. Snapper time, baby. Snappers. Cute little guy. Nice, right? What a way to start the morning. Heck yeah. All right, I'm going to switch over and start throwing a topwater here. All right, I'm going to start out throwing the Moonwalker topwater. This is from Salt Strong. Um, they have a deal. Buy one, get one free. I'll put a link in the description area. You can also get some free paddle tails. I have that linked in there too. So, all right, let's get them. I had two good topwater hits this morning, and I messed both of them up. Ooh, and this water is clear. It is super clear. That's a nice little wall right here. Might be something hanging out right in here. Let's see. I'd really like to catch a snook on top water this morning. I'd like to catch a nice snook on top water. There he is. Oh, dude broke me off instantly doggone it he hit it right up next to the piling oh there's my lure right there there's my lure let's go get that doggone it dang it snapped me off instantly it's right up against the piling there we go clean cut that's a barnacle cut right there dang it he hit it right up next to the piling Oh yeah, the other end of the line is all frayed up. All right, very disappointing there, guys. I, I lost a really nice fish there. I had a couple good hits, but yeah, my line was all frayed up. He hit it right next to the piling. I set the hook. I had him for two seconds. Gone. See ya. See ya, JC. Come back another time. <laughs> Current was moving pretty good up around the bridge, but... There's some mullet up there. We might have a decent fish on this point. Right here. Yep, there he is. There he is. Oh, dang it, dude. Dang it. <laughs> Woo. Dude, that sun is bright. Woohoo. I just want to work these points. Yep, there he is. There he is. Oh, he knocked it out of the water. He knocked it out of the water. There. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a little bitty guy. All right in the mangrove. Come on, dude. We got mullet right on this point. That was a good hit. Just a little guy he was nipping at it. I don't know if it was a bigger one that hit it then. They are liking this bone color this morning, though.
Yeah, there's a little snook right there. Oh, baby, come on, come on, come on. Come on, dude, get it. Oh my God, short striking big time. Watch this, watch this, watch this. We'll throw the paddle tail up in there. Oh, dude, he smacked it. He smacked it good. <laughs> he smacked it. There he is, there he is. Oh my gosh, the world's smallest snook. <laughs> there he is. As soon as it hit the water. Fish on. Nice. Oh, flipped off the hook. All right, little guy, you have had your lesson. Grow up to be a 50 pounder. Nice. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 did you see that? Woo -hoo. bet we got some good fish up in here. This looks like a good spot for some snapper snappers. Right up in here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not a snapper. That's not a snapper. That is definitely not a snapper. Ah, oh, he snapped me off. I didn't get a good look at it. I don't know what that was. That was a good fish, though. Damn, man, that was a good fish. Oh! I think my line broke right where I tied the leader together and uh, that was a, an older knot. I don't know how long it's been since I fished with that rod. It was an F, FG knot and I just grabbed it this morning. It had 20 pound test on it and uh, man that fish just broke me off. That was a good one. I saw him flash. It looked like a black drum. Oh I'd love to catch me a big keeper black drum. I haven't had black drum in a while. All right let's see if we got another one up there. Having a good time. There he is. That's a good fish. That's a good, that's gonna be a keeper man right there. What is it, a snook? Yeah, snook. Dude, I thought I had a keeper man. I got another snooky snooky. We'll take it. We'll take it. Always good to see these little guys around. Yeah, he's what, 18, 19 inches maybe? See ya. <laughs> guys this stock is loaded with fish and the reason is there's greenback shiners everywhere they're all over there they're all over here they're all around my kayak so i want to have a quick heart to heart with you guys i've got over 820 videos on this channel generally a video per thousand views with youtube makes about nine dollars per thousand right sometimes these videos take 20 30 40 hours to create You've got shrimp, gas, all the expenses. We really don't make a lot of money from YouTube. So periodically, I'm going to pick up some sponsored content. I've been doing that recently because I've had some great sponsors reach out to me, giving me some excellent products that I am absolutely love, that I can use them. And some of these guys are paying me a little bit of extra money, right? So I'm not out here working for free. You guys get to watch the content for free though, right? But us as creators, it's costing us a lot of money to come out here and create this. So this is the way it's gonna be. Sometimes I'm gonna do sponsored content and uh, that's just the way it is, right? Uh, not all the time. Like I got 820 videos, 99.9% .9 of those are fishing or outdoor adventure videos. So it's not gonna always be sponsored content, but just know if you are watching my channel and I have an opportunity to get a really, really nice product that's worth a lot of money and get some additional money on top of it, I'm gonna do it guys that's just the way it is so let's get back to fishing yeah it's just i came through there's hundreds of these little guys down there there we go that's a decent fish 
That's a decent one. Not big enough to keep though. Still having a good time. See ya. We're catching snappers in the mangroves. Imagine that. Dude, I'm seeing a lot of sheep said snapper time. Snapper time, keeper snapper. See ya. 11 o'clock, I got on the water at 6.30. I just lost a nice snook under that dock right there. He had me all in and out of the pilings, in and out of the pilings. And then he just came unhooked, so. I took a break, I've been fishing hard this morning. Um, I retied a leader, I took time to tie a nice FG knot. 25 pound test monofilament leader, one art hook, 15 pound test braid. Let's see if we can get some more fish. That's just a decent shrimp I wonder if we got another snook up in there I had two nice hits that snook hit it dude he hit it and took off a lot of times when they do that that means there's other fish around that's a hit oh yeah yeah baby yeah baby that's a good fish yeah he's in the pilings See if we can get him to come out of there. Oh, he broke me off. Snapped me off. Doggone it. Doggone it. I'm going to have to move up to 30 pound test. I can see a bajillion snappers over there. I think I found where all the sheep's head went to. There's a bunch of them under this dock. There we go. Zoom. Oh, it's a good one, too. It's a good one, too. Another snapper. Ah, right, snapper 5,322. See ya! That's a good, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Please don't be a catfish. Oh, it's a black drum, baby. It's a black drum. Please be a keeper. Please be a keeper. 15 inches. Oh, yeah. That would just make my day. That would make my day. Nice, baby. We got us a black drum. I'm going to pull out my fish rules out. Black drum. Oh, minimum size 14 inches. He's a little bit over 14. Nice. All right, guys. We got our black drum here. We are going to get this one cleaned up. I'm going to cook this on the half shell on the grill on the half shell means you just leave the scales on and i'm just going to fillet this like you'd fillet any other fish i just make a cut across like that and then i turn my knife and i just run right along the skeleton of the fish just a little bit you get it started like that just run your knife down like that i like to lift up on the skin right here as i'm doing it Usually get back here around the anal fin. Just push my knife right through. Come back up here. Just run right along the right along the bone. Spin him around. Put my knife all the way through. Kind of pinch the skin up like that so the meat um, stays away from the knife. And then I push through the ribs. I usually find a soft spot in the ribs. Push your knife through. There we go. Wasn't a very soft spot. All that grunting I was doing, right? All right, now we just cut that off and there's our black drum fillet. And there you have it. Two nice looking black drum fillets. We're gonna cook this guy up on the grill. I cook with charcoal. All right, while our fire is ashing over, we want to give our fillets a little bit of olive oil on the scale side. I just do that to keep things from sticking to the grill and we'll flip them over 
and just a little bit of olive oil on the fillet side rub that all over on the meat side right quite a bit of olive oil on that meat so i don't need that much these are the two ingredients i like on my grilled black drum this is a good combination you got to try it sometime lowry seasoned salt cayenne pepper mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right we got some white mushrooms this is one of my favorites for a side dish that i'm making here next we've got us a Nice mix of greens here and spinach. I like mine in smaller bits and pieces. We're just gonna top that off with some mushrooms. Start spreading these out a little bit. These fillets are small, so. Throw some oak wood on there. Fancy Dollar Tree lid. To keep the keep that smoky goodness in there from the oak we're not going to flip it we're going to leave it scale side down just let it slow cook all the way through you guys wait until you see how delicious these fillets look and they do taste delicious when they're done hey siri set a timer for 10 minutes so if you have not had ken steakhouse greek salad dressing this stuff is deliciousness we are gonna to top off our mushroom salad with some Ken Steakhouse Greek. I've got a few almonds. That'll be good on there too. All right, these have been on here about 12 minutes, I think. Oh, ho, ho, baby, look at that. The fork goes through, it's done. guys mmm mmm black drum one of my all-time favorites on the grill got a nice smoky flavor from that oak I'm telling you Lowry seasoned salt a little bit of cayenne pepper excellent combination for grilling fish like this so I want to share with you guys in the video when I was I caught this black drum I pulled out my phone and I looked up the regulations on the Fish Rules app. So you want to download that app. That is the recommended app that the, the Florida Wildlife Commission recommends that you check your fish using that app because it updates to the exact GPS location. Whenever you open the app, it says updating and it goes like 30, 40, 50, 90 percent and it updates for the location. And uh, yeah, so I just pulled it up right out there and saw that the minimum size for black drum was 14 inches. So I don't have a problem with my hand right now. It's just there's flies all over the place. Where do these little guys come from? It's like, as soon as you pull your fish off the grill, you get bombarded by flies. But anyway, yeah, download fish rules. And um, yeah, and then you can just pull it up real quick while you're out there and take a look and see if the fish that you've got if it meets the regulation for keeping it all right so guys i had a blast out there fishing with shrimp today i was using a one aught hook 25 pound test leader 15 or 20 pound test braid uh six foot six inch medium rods with like 4,000 size spinning reels just hooking the shrimp i look i've got a video that will show you a lot of different ways that you can hook shrimp um it's a really cool video so i'll link that up right here at the end Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up or appreciate it. Everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!